Hello friends and welcome back to the part 18 of this tutorial series. In the previous part, we created uh, guards and protected our routes with the help of auth card. That is our actually our JWT guard. And as you, as you remember that we are protecting the create route, the update route and the delete route. We are not protecting any find routes because those should be accessible to uh, everyone and in this part we will look at creating custom decorators so we have seen all these decorators the body decorator the patch decorator the use card all those stuff okay so now in this part we will create our own custom decorator to fetch the user object from the request uh, user property from the request object okay so if you go back to the official docs here and under custom route decorators so these are all the decorators that are available out of the box there is a section that says uh, you can create your own custom decorators okay and this is the exact example that we will be following although i will write all these codes manually but you can definitely copy the code and paste it in its own file and later on you can use like this to fetch the user object okay let me just show you how you can do that so I'll go to my auth folder and create a new TypeScript file. I'll name it uh, user dot decorator dot ts, and here I'll export a simple variable by the name. Uh, you can name it anything you want. I'll say current user. Okay, and this will equal to create param decorate so this is a function that you have to import from nest.js common library and this function actually takes an anonymous method here like that okay i'll put this in a new line and in this uh, parameter list we have two parameters first is the data of type unknown and the second one is our execution context so that, that has to be imported from nest.js common library as well so in this body we'll simply define a variable okay and we will get the request from the ctx variable here and we'll use the switch to http method and then chain it with get request so this will give me the request object and we'll store it here and what we want we, we want is to return the request dot user property that's it so now i save the file go back to my post controller and the the funny thing is that this this decorator will only work after i have used a guard so let me just show you the difference so I'll put the decorator here at the rate current user. So make sure you import it, import this decorator from the correct file. So I'm importing it from my user decorator file. And then I'll give it a local name like user of type my user entity. And now I can simply console log this user here. And I'll do the same thing for the find all method here although i have the request file but i will not use it i'll use my current user decorator and do the same thing so let me copy the code from here and paste it here i'll show you the difference so now let me first hit the create route i'm going to create a new post here let's go here okay this is my third post. Uh, third post, and I'm actually testing custom decorator. Okay, so hit send. Okay, it says unauthorized, which is okay. So I'll go to the login. Hit send. Uh, what happened? Let's see okay so now it's authenticated i can go back to my 
post route and hit send again so my third post is created and if i check the console i get my user id okay and now if i go back here okay so so remember i have okay two uh posts or two output here outputs here okay let me just hit send again from the auth from the get request okay let's see if we get any other okay so you see it's it says undefined here the reason is that since this route is not protected so this particular uh the the, the user property was never present in this current user so this current user was empty because once you get authenticated from here then only that request object will be added to the sorry the user object will be added to the request uh body okay or the user property will be added to the request object but since i'm not authenticating here i mean this is working without authentication so that process never happens and we are not getting that user so to do that what we can do we can create another uh, custom guard here okay although it will not protect anything it will only help me to get the user so i'll do, create current user dot card dot ts file and in this file i'll simply export a class as a name uh, current user guard that's fine I'll extend auth card which is imported from passport of type JWT. And simply, and since this is a class, this auth card is a class, I can extend it. Okay, we can extend classes using inheritance. And this auth guard has got a handle request method inside it. Okay, so we'll use that method here handle request. So this method takes a uh, few parameters and the one we are interested in is error of type any, the first one and the user of type any. Okay, and the body will say if the user is there, we'll simply return the user or uh, else return null. Simple. So now we'll go back here. Let's say you want to get the user in our find all method. I'll simply go here and type use guards. Although this card is not protecting anything, it's simply to it's, it's simply a hack basically. So I'll say uh, current uh, user guard, okay, and import it. That's it. So save the changes. Make sure there are no errors, okay. And this time I'm simply going to hit the uh, get route once more. And let's see the console okay there we have the user perfect and this is needed because i'm going to create a new endpoint here under the auth service uh, where i will be uh, auth controller rather yeah so here i i have put two comments here, down here so that i will create a couple of endpoints one is for the logout and other is for the checking the authentication state so let's do it quickly since we have time so i'll create the authentication uh, state validation you are uh, endpoint first so i'll literally get get uh, endpoint and name will be auth status and i want my current user i want to fetch the current user and type user and as we know so this is my entity of perfect we have to use the guard here and that's my uh, current user guard simple so i'll have that user stored here and i'll simply return the status as this and the user object so using double exclamation turns the 
variable here into a boolean uh, boolean flag basically whether so if this user is present it will be true if this user is null it will be false so i'll, I'll show you that so let's say and also let's quickly create a logout route so that i can show you the status for both the logout is pretty simple i'll go to i'll create a post route you can create anything you want let name it logout and here i will say i need the request req of type request from express and the response from response so both of them should be from express and my uh, the request and response should be from nestjs common perfect so here i'll simply clear out the cookies that we set initially during authentication so first one is my authentication cookie and the next one is the is authenticated cookie i'll return us status of 200 that's okay status and send a response the response will be success true that's it so let's give it a try my endpoint is uh, this one will be auth status auth slash auth status and this one is auth slash logout perfect let's save the changes and see the terminal perfect let's go back to our postman okay i'll copy this go to a new tab make it a post request and this will be my logout next one will be my auth status so right now i'm logged in so if i hit send i get state is true and the user here and now if i log out okay success true if i hit this uh, send button again say state as false and user is null so this is perfect and i can use this particular endpoint to validate my uh, current authentication state in the front end application and uh, i mean let the user um go back to the login page accordingly so if the if the user hits the refresh button so based on this uh, output here uh, i can decide whether he should be logged in or he should be sent back to the login page okay so this is pretty handy and I can, i'm getting the actual status now if i go back to the login page which is here hit send and i go back to the get request i get the user again this is all about this particular video i hope you liked it you learned something new and creating these custom decorators are are i mean it's pretty simple and and these are pretty handy so this is one of the scenarios where you would you would want to create a custom uh decorator param decorator but you can also go through this docs and you will find a lot of uh information there okay so i'm going to end the video now and in the next video we would look at the authorization part and the uh, user roles section so till then please like subscribe and share this video with your friends if you have any suggestions or feedback do let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video till then have fun and keep learning bye bye